Hello, everyone. Welcome to Radio Free Decipher. This is Evan Lorenz coming at you from Norfolk on Friday morning. And I have with me on the phone from Calgary, Ian Pownalt. Welcome to you, Ian. Hi. Uh, we're going to talk to Ian here. He is one of our squadron members, as well as, as of just this last week, uh, one of the highest rated young Jedi constructed deck players in the world, actually the number one rated player in Canada. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Uh, why don't you tell us about the tournament that puts you over the top? Well, I recently played in the Alberta Championships, mm -hmm. and we had uh, 22 players show up, and I went undefeated. That's tough to do in a Young Jedi tournament. Very. Yeah? <laughs> what types of decks were you playing? Um, I used a tank deck, because that's what everyone else was <laughs> trying, and I've been using it lately, and everybody hated me for it. You see a lot of tank decks right now? No, I'm the only one who uses one. Oh, uh, okay. And everyone around here loves using the Padme deck for light side, and I thought I'd try something different. And so you didn't with... go with handmaidens? No, I used Gunguns. Really? Yeah. That must have made you very unpopular. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But apparently it worked very well for you. Oh, yeah. I, I surprised everybody because I was able to take Naboo for light. Yeah? So Overcoming the tanks? Yeah. Wow. Um, so I imagine you're anticipating a Battle of Naboo expansion coming out very soon. Uh, it's likely to fit well in your Gungan deck. Yeah, very easily. Have you been uh, following what's been coming out on the website, uh, the bits we've been revealing about that set? Yeah, the, the Jar Jar will fit right in perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of uh, effects? Are they likely to have a major impact on your deck, do you think? Um, a little bit, yeah, because they'll... They'll be able to help out, especially mm -hmm. especially with my different decks. As I I build like eight different types, and I just choose whichever one I feel like using that day. Mm -hmm. So, like with the I've got a battle droid deck that's very nasty as well, and that effect will kill it. Oh yeah, <laughs> you may have to rethink your plan a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of tournaments, uh, Kevin is going to be up there next weekend, isn't that right? Yeah, he'll be here tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. And We'll be running Young Jedi demos and Young Jedi tournaments pretty much the entire weekend. So. Right. I think uh, a little bit later here we're planning to have a few words from Kevin about his trip right now, but uh, we'll come up with that later. Um, now uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, your role as a squadron member. Um, what uh, types of activities have you been doing recently? Um, well, recently I've been going more towards Young Jedi uh -huh. uh, since it's the newer game. Mm-hmm. And but recently I got a Jedi Council member signed up so I can start gearing back towards Star Wars. Have you been missing it? So, hmm? Um, no, not really. Just I've been I've been the very busy squadron member. I've been running tournaments like two a week. Yeah. So, are you seeing uh, many differences in the decks recently, or have things finally settled down a bit after uh, after Endor and in anticipation of uh, Death Star Two? Um, well, from running the Alberta Championships, mm -hmm. I've seen al almost every dark side player in the top ten use the dark side Ralter Ops. Really? Yeah. And uh, uh, apparently proving very tough to beat. Yeah. Yeah, especially since the top, pretty, almost, I think almost every dark player only had like one loss, so. Wow. How about light side? What do you think uh, the trends are there? Um, people are using the profit decks and mind what you have learned. Uh huh. So. Now, uh, are you seeing a lot of reflections cards getting played, or is it mostly oh, yeah. still for collectors? Oh no, they like using the reflections cards for the ones that stick to the table. Yeah. Yeah, like for the profit deck, everyone likes using the Han, and for the training decks, they like using the Yoda and the Hut and Daughter from Endor. Mm hmm. Uh, how about you? Are you getting a chance to play uh, in the midst of all this uh, running of it? No. No? <laughs> no. I I have been a, only two other people that run tournaments here, so I get to play in maybe one tournament a month. I suppose that makes the victory in the, in the Young Jedi uh, event more special to you. Oh, yeah. People are, always, people are always saying I was the luckiest person in Alberta that day, <laughs> especially going undefeated. Now you said you'd brought on a new uh, a new council member recently. Who is yep. that? Alan Rabbi. Uh huh. Um, 
he just start, he started to run Young Jedi t- tournaments, and he's been helping me out with demos. So okay. I thought he might be able to help out in that way. So I sent an email to Kyle, and they signed him up. Excellent. All right. Well, do you have anything else you'd like to throw our way this morning? Um. Well, I'm trying to contact all the other squadron members in Western Canada because I'm trying to book in our third regional here in Calgary. Yeah. And I'm trying to find some dates. So. Okay. Well, then uh, we'll put the word out there to uh, anybody that would like to get in touch with you. Please do so. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess that will take care of this. Okay. I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us this morning. Yeah, no and, all right. Do you have a good one? Yeah, you too. All right. Hello, this is Kevin Reitzel, your Bravo leader, here up in my current trip in uh, the wonderful Canada area. And I've made several stops. I'll be making some future stops. I wanted to check in with everyone uh, in Radio Free Decipherland. Uh, thanks uh, for being patient there with our hiatus. Uh, today is uh, Thursday, uh, the 23rd. And uh, first of all, let me tell you where I am. I'm in Edmonton right now. I'm at the Crown Plaza Hotel looking over the beautiful... Uh, uh, North Saskatchewan, Saskatchewan River, I believe is how you pr- pronounce it. Anyway, it's very pretty up here, and I'm looking forward to uh, my events coming up. Uh, first of all, uh, before I tell about my events, I want to tell you about my past events. I visited Vancouver, and uh, I want to thank uh, several people there. First of all, I visited uh, Johnny's Wax Packs there in Vancouver, and I wanted to thank Johnny G., the owner there. We had a great turnout. We had a lot of kids there learning how to play Young Jedi. And it was great because they're all Star Wars fans, and they do very well with Star Wars there. Uh, later that later that weekend, I went to Hyperlight Enterprises. I want to thank Roxanne Barber there, one of our uh, um, ambassadors, and we had a great turnout there. Uh, on the Saturday, she had a Star Trek tournament with plenty of players. And uh, then on Sunday, which is when I did the demo, uh, there was a Star Wars tournament with uh, an enormous amount of players as well. And the uh, response to my Young Jedi demo there went over really well. And I want to thank all the players that participated. And a very beautiful city there as well. As for today, Thursday, I wanted to tell everyone uh, that's in the Edmonton area to uh, please come by the uh, White Knight uh, store there in Edmonton. Uh, They're on... uh, 82nd Avenue, and I'm going to be doing Young Jedi demo there at uh, 4 o'clock. So uh, if you want to call over there, the area code is uh, 780-439-5299 and ask to the owner, Jay. Uh, a couple things I wanted to tell you about uh, while I'm up here. Uh, first stop uh, here in Edmonton and for you guys down in Calgary, on Friday the uh, 24th, which is uh, tomorrow, I wanted to let you all guys know about uh, Young Jedi demo at 4 o'clock and a tournament at 7 o'clock at Wizard Comics and Collectibles. Um, The reason why I want you guys in Calgary to take note is because I'd like you guys to come up if you can because also on Saturday I will be in Calgary at the Century Box doing the same thing at 4 p.m. a YJ demo and at 7 p.m. a YJ tournament. It would be kind of great to see guys coming up from Calgary to Edmonton and the guys from Edmonton going down to Calgary. It's kind of cool to get you guys all to participate in that. And uh, then also on Tuesday I'll be at Collector's Paradise at 4 p.m. for a Young Jedi demo. And uh, that's pretty much going to round out my tour um, in the Calgary area. Um, And I wanted to let you guys know about uh, in Thursday at uh, 1 p.m. in Winnipeg. I will be in Winnipeg. I'm going to be at Prairie Book and Novelty Warehouse. Uh, This is going to be great because uh, the owner, Susan, was also able to set me up with a uh, radio talk show host up there by the name of Larry Updike. If you guys are familiar in the Winnipeg area, you're probably familiar with his show. Uh, when I come, when I arrive on uh, the 29th, I'm going to be doing an inter- interview with him, and he's going to be asking about the Star Wars and Young Jedi collectible card games, and uh, hopefully get me there on the radio there. So if you guys are familiar with the show, listen for me in the Times, and uh, show up for the demo there at Prairie Book and Novelty Warehouse at 1 p.m. Um, also in Winnipeg, on Friday the 31st, I'll be at Galaxy Comics for uh, another uh, YJ demo at 4 p.m., and then I'll be back at Prairie Book and Novelty Warehouse on Saturday, April 1st, for a 12 noon Star Wars constructed tournament. I will have prizes for you guys, uh, so uh, look for that. And if you have any questions for Prairie Book and Novelty, their phone number is 204 339 2582. Um, I want to first of all thank all the many players that have showed up at the demo so far and the wonderful response that I'm looking forward to. A lot of uh, volunteers out there have been uh, warm in uh, greeting me, and uh, I'll be looking forward to talking to Robin today. I'll be seeing him, and uh, also uh, several of the other volunteers, Marcus Cosgrove, Matthew Vosper, 
Um, also, Preston Hunt, Ian, looking forward to seeing you guys. And uh, it's great. This is a beautiful country up here. I'm really glad that Decipher has given me the chance to come up here and uh, visit you all and uh, teach you guys a bunch of great games. And also, it's great, too, because I've learned a new vocabulary up here. Eh, it's become part of my vocabulary. It's been great. Anyway, this is Kevin Reitzel, Bravo Leader, signing off. And uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to contact me while I'm up here. Email me, kevinr at decipher.com. Otherwise, uh, I'll see you guys all on the road. Take care. Have fun. Bye.